Is it, it's going now. Good. Ghostly greetings. Holler at your boy, Prue. I am a fucking liar. I got another book haul. I got six books. I bought these all on the super cheap. And I basically just needed some retail therapy to help me get through this week with this election nonsense. Uh, it was quite stressful. And I needed... And I needed some retail therapy, so I bought some books to help. I organized my bookshelves a little bit. I just spent the day with my books to kind of unwind. I know I haven't uploaded in a while. It's been super crazy at work and with the election. I just, I, I needed some me time. So I spent the day cleaning, organizing, and buying some books. And you're going to get a book review after this in the same outfit. Awesome. Okay, book haul. Six books. Girl with All the Gifts. 50 cents. And this is kind of newish from what I understand. This is a zombie book from what I understand. I love zombies. This isn't on the TBR because it's too big. My TBR is too big. It's too big. But I'm happy to get this for super fucking cheap. And it's a zombie book. I love zombies. Zombies. I like zombies, like survival stuff. And that seems like a cool thing. I read it. It's got the little science fiction marker. So I like sci-fi. I like zombies. That could be right up my alley. So if you've read that or know anything about it, I think there might be a Netflix show. We don't have Netflix anymore. We canceled our Netflix. I'm very happy. My wife and I had too many streaming services. We had a lot. We canceled a lot of them. I'm very happy. We kept Tubi because it's free and I like the horror movies on there. Uh, that's the only one I kept personally. Uh, but I haven't seen the movie on Netflix because we don't have it. But if you have, let me know. Next up, this one was my favorite find. I got this for cheap. You're going to see a price tag on it. I did not pay that. I just don't want to take it off. I got Robert A. Heinlein's Friday, and that girl is cute, and I like her hair, and I love Robert Heinlein. Heinlein is my favorite science fiction author, or James Herbert. But James Herbert's only did, if you take Dune out, Frank Herbert, James Herbert, <laughs> if you take Dune out of the picture, Heinlein is the best. I love Heinlein. Uh, Starship Troopers is Maybe my favorite movie, or Sharknado. I like that style of movie. It's fast, it's loud, it's really good. Uh, and I read the book, and I fell in love with the writing. And I've been collecting Heinlein ever since. Timmy, you sent me one that I didn't have. I'm working on getting a complete Heinlein, and I love it. Next up, Sarah. Sarah MG Reads. You read a lot of classics, and I, I, I want to read more classics. I have some classics. I want to do like a classics, what classics Pruitts have, or what I consider classics. And I bought this. And I found it super cheap. Lay Miz. I've never read this. I wanted to. It was required reading in school, but you could not read. If you didn't read this, you had to read Edgar Allan Poe. And I read Poe. But I've always kicked myself because I'm like, man, I'll read Poe anytime. This might have been my only shot to read a thousand page book because it was mandatory. It was mandatory. And now I just don't think that this is something I would set down to read. But I'm going to do my darndest. I did the math. I read like four pages a day. I can finish this in a year. That's what I might do. <laughs> Just to say I've knocked out Les Mis, Sarah. You read a lot of classics, so I, I hate to imply that you've read this. But you seem like a person who would not have read it, at least know anything about it. And also, this thing is fat as hell. It's a fucking tome. I can't even eat this. It's bigger than my cheeseburgers I order. And I order some fat boy fucking cheeseburgers. Jesus. Uh... Again, though, all this was less than $3. You can't knock it. You can't knock it. Uh, and it made me feel good. It made me feel good. I paid $3 for a happy half an hour. That's what I did, which is, which is, you know what? Money well spent. Money well spent. Also, I am looking cute in this red Nike hat that I got. But it's a flat bill, so I wear it backwards because I don't dig flat bills. Back to the book haul. Dean Koontz's Whispers. I don't have a huge Dean Koontz collection. I got a very small Dean Koontz collection. Now you're thinking, Pruitt, you did a haul where you got literally two boxes of Dean Koontz. That's true. But my friends and my father-in-law and uh, my friends, a guy I know online and my father-in-law love Dean Koontz. And I give them whatever they want of Dean Koontz. Because I'm a casual Koontz guy, but they both had this already. And I was like, for the cheap, I like it. I like it. Uh Next up, we got Anne Rice, The Mummy, or Ramsey's the Dead. I don't know where this fits in the vampire cantos. If it's part of the vampire stuff, I have no idea. What I do know is I saw Anne Rice for 50 cents, so I picked it up. There you go. That was the sole reason that was bought. I'm like, man, Anne Rice for 50 cents. It's a cool-looking cover. I'm in. 
you're gonna i'm gonna get 50 cents out of enjoyment out of that and next up uh this there's a movie based on this too i have seen the movie the maze runner now this kid he's in a movie i want to see called love and monsters or something so I picked this up and I found out its audiobook was on my Overdrive app that I use. Excuse me, I drink a lot of orange juice today and it's bad for Pruitt. But you're going to get a review from this one right now after I record this and hit stop. That's the sixth book, Maze Runner by James Dashner. And this one's kind of cool because it has a shuck it sticker that I'm just going to leave in there because I am not putting that on my car. Ghostly Greetings, it's been your boy Prue. Six books, under six minutes. I love it. That's a fun little book haul. Thank you.